put this up. <laughs> well, too late. <laughs> right. All right, here is our room at the Sheraton in um, Seattle. Sheraton Grand Seattle. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's the Sheraton Grand Seattle. We already had a nap. Bed was very comfy. You know how you can tell it's the Sheraton in Seattle? No. Hey, Grinch boy. So, it's the room. It's the bathroom. Shower with shower gel, shampoo, conditioner. And you got a full length mirror here. The closet has drawers. And an iron, an ironing board. Already got used to. And there's a fridge. And um, you get Starbucks coffee when you're in Seattle. Wonder why that is. Why do you think that is, hon? What's that? That you get the Starbucks coffee when you're in Seattle. Because you're in Seattle. Oh, okay. Uh, what else? You get um, there's a little charging station here. Bonvoy TV drawers. There's little charging stations on each side, or plugs, I guess, on each side of the bed. Uh, what else? What else can I show you? Another set of drawers over here. All of our luggage. That's right. I just saw somebody doing some light filing in the office building over here. Did you really? I saw somebody working. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming they were doing some light filing. What, what, else, what else do you do in an office building? Oh, lots of things. Yeah, okay. Most people don't have much paper anymore. Okay. So that's our view. So. Yeah, anyways, but the hotel and the hotel is uh, like five blocks from Ike Place Market and just a short like. Uh, even quicker walk to that is the monorail and from the monorail you can get over to Pacific Science Center, uh, Seattle Space Needle, uh, Mopop, Chewy Gardens, all kinds of stuff. So um, Nice convenient location. Yeah, very walk uh, walkable, although warning, walk Seattle downtown is a little bit more hilly than we think it is. But uh, so far it's been a, a, good, a good location. Uh, I, can, I can judge it later, but I don't think I need to. And it's going to be <laughs> a good, good location for the few things that we're going to do here which is mostly recover from our uh, cruise. All righty. We're doing it. We're in Seattle, and we'll guess where we're going? Pike Place Market. Woo. Well, we're coming down for that uh, uh, cruise high. So we're gonna do all the touristy things in Seattle that we can do within our hotels, walking distance from downtown, or here in downtown. It's going to the monorail to get over to... Um... That counts, that counts, okay. that's... I think it's in the background. We have the obligatory uh, market selfie from Pike Place Market. And guess what? What? Look at the weather. It's beautiful. Yeah, who's down? It is. Like, there's like not a cloud So it's, it's a little bustling on a Friday afternoon, but we're betting it's going to be better than a Saturday morning. So we're going to go walk around and see what we can find. If nothing else, there's got to be some coffee and the pastries. Well, there's some coffee right there. There's food, maybe a beer. There's all kinds of stuff. There is. A tiki bar later on. Oh, yeah. I'll put that later on, too. There's the sign. Oh, you know what else everybody wants to see? Somebody throw a fish. Let's go see if we can find some fish throwers. Frickin', frickin fish thrower. It's a whole different story. All right, there we go. Oh, and we have a cat man playing accordion. So that's real regular. Here at the market. Now we're gonna go. Uh, that's okay. I don't need to take a photo. I'm actually gonna go. I mean, if I didn't get a GoPro action camera to catch somebody throwing a fish in a market, why did I get a GoPro? I have no idea. Okay. Look. Yes, who's my, who's my poor sign friend? Oh, you missed it. Did I? Yeah. Well, but I got a porky friend here. <laughs> Maybe someone needs to pay attention to this guy here. I'm so worried about their fish. CT for Bridget! Yeah, CT for Bridget! You really gotta 
occupation pants for this. Yeah. I'm not even sure I'm gonna buy them. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Not because stuff doesn't look good, it's just what am I going to do with it? I've already got enough luggage. I just want something I can enjoy now. Looks like when you go down a level, you start to get into more books, hard goods, that sort of thing, less food. Giant shoe museum. Magic store. Oh, this store. Zoltar machine. <laughs> Time to play my favorite game. Is there something from Mystery Science Theater? Looks like no, not in this case. Although roof tracks did eventually do Reefer Madness. Did they do cocaine themes though? I don't think so, no. Did they do Godzilla versus Cosmic Monsters? No, only two Godzillas on MST3K. And that was not one of them. Cool though. This doesn't look like lunch. <laughs> Inside the miner's landing, we've passed by all the food. All right, lunch at the crab pot is over, and we're attempting to justify it by walking back up the stairs towards Pike Place Market. We went from down there, plus stairs you can't yeah, see. Yeah, a few flights down there too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now we're going up this way. Which honestly sure felt a lot better going down. And if you go down that way, there's a selfie museum. I think also somewhere down there, there's a trail that leads to the gum wall. But I think I wouldn't go ahead and skip that. Okay. I don't think I, what do you think about the gum wall? Yeah, we've seen it already. Yeah, we already. We have to clean up enough gum back in the day, but. Uh, go ahead and skip it. Give yeah, it a minute. I mean, if we happen upon it, we happen upon it. But I'm I sure you guys have all seen that before anyway. We're gonna give it a miss. All right, our brief sojourn outside is over. That's we visited so the market. We did. And we saw some stuff. Um, and then we went and had some food and then it wrecked us. I had fried food. You had a salad to your credit. It was we, giant though. But we both had huge bowls of chowder. So now we're going to rest up and get ready to go out. Next stop is going to be another tiki bar. Hopefully if I'm doing these videos in the right order, you would have already seen some footage from uh, Tor, what it was called, Tora Tiki, like Toria Victoria Tiki. Uh, tonight, Inside Passage. So, if all goes according to plan, that will be next. Mine came on fire in a mermaid bowl. 
with the Dingleheimer. So she took an early return. Oh, is this a fellow that I have? It's a 62 penalty uh, punch. That's the Arrows Inside Passage, which unfortunately I cannot buy the glass from. Because it is a glass from the 62 world. married to a guy that worked here as well. He's bringing me costumes during the pandemic. Washington State or Washington City? Fire's out. Fire. What the fork? Is there any drink in that ice? Yes, delicious. Oh, hang on a second. What, what do we got going on here? It's a Dingleheimer. It's tequila. Which? D Dingleheimer. I think it's a, a, a... I I think there's something nuclear in that drink. <laughs> Possibly. These folks... Cheers, Fritz. Have you found it? Is it this? I don't know. Keep turning it. Keep turning it for the two. That was a lot of my hand right there. Okay, I'll get it. I'll get it. There it is, the four boys. Please ignore, I'm not a great hand model. Help, help, I'm on the monorail. I'm going to the monorail. What's that? Monorail. Oh, I would be lucky to switch around. While we're sitting here waiting to depart, how about some useless facts about the monorail? Like it was built in support of the 1962 Seattle World's Fair. Um, that's kind of the most I know about it. I've read about other stuff, but it went out of my brain. I can also tell you this though, it's, the, it's one of the highlights of this and the World's Fair, or one of the highlights of the Mystery Science Theater short, uh, 21st Century Call. So if you haven't seen that, look it up. You would just see a couple of kids ride in the monorail, bounce around the World's Fair for a little while, and learn all about the amazing technologies of touch tone dialing. Those feature, those feature uh, video phones. Yeah, it's very fun. Uh, if I can find a copy, I'll at least put a link in the bo uh, down below to the episode that it occurs in. And hopefully we'll be leaving soon. I see the doors are closed. Seattle 
Let me be the first to welcome you to Seattle Center. Of course, I just got here myself. Still not sure why this kind of thing can't be the future of transportation. <laughs> I mean, they are awfully loud, that's fair. Oh, there's a food and event hall. So they have these things we could eat. Okay. I'm going to suggest not Subway. I'm going to suggest going to the Seattle Kraken Team Store. And, uh, Ooh, we'll see they have what... a good logo. They do. They have the Kraken. All right, I got it. Two tickets to paradise. Oh, here we go. How dare you, Seattle Times? Maybe the founder. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we put a guy in space. <laughs> Nothing to do with the construction, but you know, it's an interesting fact. Nothing to do? Yes, sir. Turn the crank and watch the needle rise. Is it working? I can't tell if it's working. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of bolts, I see one up ahead. There's your space connection, honey. Eh? Imagine tightening a bolt like this. How big was the wrench? Well, probably slightly bigger than the bolt. Or else it wouldn't work. <laughs> Don't you eat too much energy? Oh, I like it. What? Do it again, do it again. It's too bad it doesn't do that soon. Back in the days where they would have open um, patios. Yeah. The original observation they had was shorter on the earth. And it was wide open to maximize the view. Where did it get blueberries? Shorter yeah. on the earth. When I come, the bigger This, if I'm doing things in the right order, was previously seen as part as the, the uh, coaster, if you will, of my 1962. Then what are you pointing out? My 1962 panorama punch from the inside passage. It's a lot easier to read this one with the magnifying glass. Don't forget, Walt's film, Space Age, Century 21, calling. Oh, obligatory stars visit the thing and do the thing. Stars, they're just like us. They want to go up in the space needle. I'm going to pick Central in there. I even see the Joker. <laughs> the building itself is 605 feet tall. Once you get to the top, you're going to look for the bar, the revolving glass floor, the observation deck, the cafe, the lounge, and yes, even the restroom. Once the elevator comes to a stop, you can go to your left or right. As you're walking around, you can follow the signs or you can ask one of our team members and they will take you to one of those six destinations. And once again, be safe and have a great, great time. All right, I'm moving, I'm not doing any wayfinding, but we moved to the left. <laughs> There's Climate Pledge Arena. They have a cracking problem. Oh, really? So that was in a construction in 2019. <laughs> There's somebody's cruise trip, cruise trip, cruise ship is out there. So that's the part we left from, right? We didn't leave from it. Yeah, that is the one we left from. It would have been the far berth. So that one looks like a princess cruise based on the markings on the front. But there's also another port behind us, which we'll see in just a moment. Hi, how's it going? Hi, just having a seat. Okay. It's a little slanty. Yeah, yeah you're supposed to lean back. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I don't help while I need one. <laughs> Push the button, my friend. You know what this is? What is this? Downtown Seattle. Sure it is. That's the waterfront. Downtown Seattle. <laughs> I don't know very many specifics. 
I know there's a stadium back there. <laughs> I know the airport's even farther back that way. I'm a great tour guide. You are. Hey, tall guy, clear the shot. Hi. Hi. How's it going? It's relaxing up here. It is. With the blue sky and like just being able to see far away. Should I tell you that I'm looking up runs in Seattle? You can. I'm sure. It's a half marathon. Half marathons are now reserved for Run Disney. <laughs> so just 10, just 10 Let's keep it the 10K. Yeah, okay. just you look straight down but you can move so you can fixate on a point of interest on the ground while you look straight down to the ground and move it's great for testing your inner ear seeing how that's all going for you on you too. <laughs> That's okay. Come on. That's fine. Play nice. <laughs> uh, anyways, we left the Space Needle. Now we're going to explore a little bit more of this area. Really? See what's going on. We missed the snake handler. Yeah. But then I didn't really want to handle a snake. Yeah. So. <laughs> I think we were working on this the last time we were here. It's the food court. Maybe you store court too. It's the mall. Kraken theme store or team store. Monorail access. So this is climate pledge. It looks kind of short, huh? I wonder if it's sunken into the ground a little bit. Because it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't look as tall as most arenas when you stand next to them, but. It's definitely full size, it's not like it's not full size, so pretty cool looking. Fits in, doesn't need to demand attention, but it's pretty cool looking. Maybe someday, next, this season or next season, we'll get to come up and watch a game. Maybe so. You need, need the Kings to be playing the Kraken on the weekend. Yeah. Make it much easier. Science Center? Yeah, what is it? This is the last thing aside from the Space Needle. It looks like it belonged to the 1962 World's Fair. Ah, uh, okay. Here we are, okay. Well, we've been here before. It's we fun. Yeah. But it's probably more than we want to do to it. I agree. So let's move on. Would you like to know about Sonic Bloom? Sure. 
Okay, well, just read the black. <laughs> You're welcome. Guess what we didn't do? We didn't actually go into New Zealand pop culture. We went into it. We went into it. We had a beer. And we decided we didn't really have enough time. And we were going to save that, that money for later. We've already seen one of the exhibits, if not two of them. And now we found a place to go have dinner, or lunch, late lunch. A place that is open soon at Disney, downtown Disney. <laughs> a place that has existed in Glendale for many years. And we went to Seattle to go to. So we're going to go check out in Typhoon. I don't think we're going to film it because we don't really film food, but if, uh, if there's nothing else, this will give closure to our afternoon at the Pacific, uh, Seattle uh, Center. The train is ready. Please stand behind the yellow line.